from divine broth or of the light pars kute we are at the final phase as we are currently experiencing a major shift it is changing everything right now shifting and changes will be the new normal as we move closer to the grand event of our ascension our earth has already raised up in her own frequencies and is steady within fourth density our mother earth's active frequency shifts our solar logos and all the intense cosmic frequencies we are receiving through the photon belt and through other cosmic events along with the fifth sixth and seventh dimensional frequencies coming in from our star families everything is in motion for the grand event our solar logos in these moments have been very active pushing several m-class flares one of them was even a large m9 which was directed towards earth which caused a geomagnetic storm to erupt that storm is also pushing high frequency rays which are hitting the earth's poles and being absorbed within her core she is then using these intense frequencies to help amp her own vibrations into the sixth dimensional level these intense energies are to help push the awakening in this final phase of our ascension she is boosting her energies to help awaken her children and this is what we are experiencing she is actively boosting six dimensional vibrations and this is to help change everything she is shifting us into a new beginning the shift we are experiencing is moving us up into a higher octave than before what this means is it is allowing for more expansion to take place this expansion is what is bringing the change our beloved mother earth has been very busy in this last week after the activity that was reported in our last update the amplitude has begun a new phase of intense movement at from 5 p.m utc on the 9th of february a series of peaks began around the power of 40 hertz right at the fifth dimensional level these movements increased in intensity from midnight until four o'clock utc the morning of the 10th the higher peaks were shortly after one o'clock a.m utc which reached the power of 60 hertz at 2 a.m utc the level then raised to power 65 hertz which is well above six dimensional frequencies and then fell back to power 60 hertz around four o'clock a.m utc the morning of the 10th she stayed at that level for most of the day until later in the evening the power then dropped back down to 40 hertz at 6 o'clock a.m and then down to 23 hertz by 7 30 a.m utc then right after this amp up in frequencies the graph had over 30 hour blackout indicating that the graph was unable to track the frequencies during that time soon after the blackout the energies on february 13th showed the peak was at the power 17 at 4 o'clock p.m utc and reached the power 36 by 5 p.m utc everything amped up again on the 14th of february from 4 a.m utc the remaining frequencies were immediately set in motion in all four measurements the first significant peak was the power 48 around 6 o'clock a.m utc power 52 at 8 o'clock a.m utc then another six dimensional boost of power 65 shortly after nine o'clock utc and the last movement of the day before yesterday which reached the power of 55 hertz just before two o'clock p.m utc at the time of this update for yesterday february 15th the power has moved back down to a power of 19 hertz which is back within the fourth dimensional level this massive jump in vibrations is to help push humanity into a fast track to move things along at a quicker pace we are well within the final phase of our ascension this final phase is expected to last in our time perspective into the year of 2030 however the infinite creative source will act when the moment is right which could be way before then this is why no time is given of an event it is all up to the divine will as of this moment humanity must rise into the higher vibrations to reach the levels needed to make that massive jump 
those who are already awakened will continue to lift higher and begin to achieve the abilities of light, meaning we are expanding. We will begin to feel as though we are living within two different realities. We will feel and witness the collapse of all things of the third dimensional vibration. We will begin to witness the enhancements of one's own awareness, which can bring forth our psychic and healing abilities. The changes will start within us and will quickly manifest into our reality. The changes to expect are the raising of our awareness of our personal expansion. We are expanding to receive more light within. What this does is allow the blocks and negative vibrations that we hold within our bodies to rise to the surface, to be cleared. This worries many because the stuff a person pushes down is what they do not want to deal with. When this takes place, forgiveness is key. Forgiveness of oneself and forgiveness for all others. We must let it all go. Master Sananda said it best when he was in human form. Forgive them, for they know not what they do. Those who are still in third dimensional mindset do not know their truth. They do not know that when they harm others, they harm themselves. We are one, one love, one light, one source. Within divine love of one, pars kute.